Welcome everybody. Blessed are those that uh, visit to this channel and enjoy the content here. I also have the lovely partnership with Gamer Subs, which I drink every day, usually on my morning stream. I enjoy flavors like lemonade, guacamole game fat 9000, it's strawberry and lime. And of course, the classic cherry limesicle. Can't go wrong with blue rice either. There's actually loads of lovely flavors there. Get 10% off with the code Thorin, T-H-O-R-I-N. Because the Brazilians were mauled in, and they kept telling us that when they say a prop or whatever, which was supposed to mean like the, the, the sensation of causing someone to have fear and be terrified, even though they kept saying that to people like Zoms, like, hey, you'll be scared and terrified if you ever come to our country. Richard Lewis then pointed out, oh, so you're actually basically intimidating him verbally and implying you'll like beat him up if he comes there, there'll be violence. And they're like, no, 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 you have to understand it doesn't mean that. Like, it, what, it just means something really lighthearted and fun. And like, it doesn't mean that at all, actually, because they get to interpret what you say and they get to interpret what they say because Brazilians apparently all in the English language. So I did the same back to them. I said, you guys just don't understand the English language and Anglo cultures as well as me and thus must take my word on this. This is the style of tweet they were doing to me. When Zombs said Brazil is a shit region, there's a lot of hidden nuance there. In English, we use shit in a lot of different ways. In English, you could collo you colloquially might say, that's the shit. And that would mean whatever you're referring to is actually really good. So he was saying Brazil is a really good region. Shall we keep ga playing gaslighting on the internet? Fan logic. Now, just look how many replies that tweet has, by the way. I live rent-free in these motherfuckers' minds, bro. Where I'm also in League of Legends, people said. It's blackmailing people. Never happened, of course. One pencil subscribed. But let's look what his reply was. I like your logic. You are a shit commentator from a shit country and a fucking shit region. Get ready. If you were to lay that out on the cards, right? You know what? I like your logic. By the way, let me explain to you. Your shit, your country's shit, and your region's shit. By the way, you're also xenophobic. You have to understand, guys, these guys, if they could, would surround me. And as they pummeled me to death, saying, death to the foreigner, death to the foreigner, would go, your rhetoric is, is, reeks of xenophobia and has violent invective in it. Now die, foreigner. That's like, they have no self-awareness. These are fucking Sims boys. They're NPCs. After this, you have to understand, he went to go to the kitchen. The door was closed. He just fucking banged into the wall a bunch and went into the cupboard by accident. No, God wasn't around to run the same at that point in time. Kensick, 2137. Here's a good one. If Gowles intends on accusing players of cheating, that's his prerogative. Now, I've already just said he can do that, so totally legit, right? Are you ready? Because that's when he said Leaf from um, Chaos was cheating. By the way, Leaf after that went on to play in Valorant in the team called Cloud9, uh, and another one, like the guard or something. Was it just Cloud9? And they were actually one of the top NA teams, and probably a top 10 team in the world at the time. But no, no, he definitely cheated because he beat washed up fucking MIBR in an online fucking match in 2020. You daft. I go, just as it will be the prerogative of the next TO that grants him core streaming rights to consider such actions when do so. So what I'm saying is you absolutely can say they're cheating and ESL can just go, well, that's a ridiculously unprofessional to say with no evidence on a broadcast inciting hatred against that guy. He had Brazilian death threats against him, his family, who scared him, say, have you ever come to Brazil, we kill you. So let's have a look at the geniuses replying to me here. We're going to get to here, but... We'll get that. Let's see how mental this guy goes. <clears throat> 28 year old. I mean, this is four years ago. So 24 year old lawyer. A lawyer comes online. By the way, that's how you know these, like, these are people are dickheads. You'd be totally open to be sued for this. It also should be the prerogative of TOs to remember your racist past. By the way, what he means by that is I one time made a joke where I implied someone else said a racist thing about Brazilians. Did anyone ever understand the mechanism of that joke? I never said that they are monkeys. I said, essentially, so you're saying this team are monkeys, which is actually the worst thing that I regret about it, is that not only was it an insensitive joke, and actually I didn't know those players got a lot of that shit at the time as well, but more importantly, it actually made the person I was replying to, I won't mention now, I won't bring their name into it again, it made it seem like they were saying something racist, well, actually they weren't. Well, it wouldn't even be racist, it would be racially insensitive, wouldn't it? <coughs> They should remember from 2016, my racist past, and ban you from this community for good. 
since you didn't face any consequences for it. I mean, I literally, on the day, in person, apologised to those people. And then on Twitter, apologised to them, in English and in Portuguese. But I didn't face any consequences from it. I mean, I've only had people like you say they want to kill me and I should have everything taken from me for, checks not, six years. But that's nothing. Because every one of you rediscovers that. It's even about Luminosity, the team. And you decide, he said it about all Brazilians... And so he attacked me just now, and now he must apologise to me. And even if he does, as you'll find out later, that's not good enough. Take everything from him. These petty tyrants should never be given power, mate. And the idea they can ban me from the community for good. Then this Tim Masters guy goes, whether or not you think Thorin is racist, it's categorically wrong to say there were no consequences. It cost him work at that event and years of work as well. Oh, he's actually thinking of fucking Poland, which isn't even the one we're talking about here. But obviously there was an event. That wasn't even racist, was it? I mean, it doesn't even make sense to say it's racist. This is, oh, he has this right, but he faced no consequences for calling LG players monkeys. I never did that. Again, go read the tweet. Absolutely. I promise you, anyone look it up, it doesn't say LG players are monkeys. I took a joke where I implied someone else. Oh, so you're saying that? I did the old switcheroo, didn't I? Also, if I retweeted racist stuff from time to time, defended Alex Jones, I never defended Alex Jones. I said he's a G because he's hilarious. And some of his research absolutely categorically factually is correct, such as that they would turn the frogs gay. That's about atrazine, a pesticide that was turning amphibians gay, like the mechanism in Jurassic Park as to how the animals were all female, but they started breeding. Look into it. That's factually true. And calls him a G. No, no, I defended him and called him a G. No, no, I, I just called him a G. I would be jobless for sure. Mate, you actually maybe should be jobless just because your IQ isn't high enough. I don't believe you could actually process a legal case. I feel like you're just someone who's just pretending that maybe you copy off someone's homework or something. He keeps getting away with it. Oh, I'm fucking... Oh, what's that guy, Aaron Paul? Eh? He can't keep getting away with it. He made it me four years ago. He can't keep getting away. He can't be part of the community and have work. He can't keep getting away with it. <laughs> Although the irony is, I guess he is Aaron Paul because I'm just like, listen, Jesse, I'm about to cook, bitch. And I'm going to do it to 99% purity. So tell... I didn't even fucking know what that guy's name was. That guy was crying about, oh, he'd do 96%. Get the fuck off my nuts. This guy goes, he provides value that balances against those things and I'm not defending them. Blah, blah, blah. I keep going. He apologised for not here to defend any of that. Sorry, I will never, ever agree with that. By that logic, you can say, get ready for a totally reasonable comparison. Get ready for an insanely reasonable comparison. Let's go totally reasonable, not hyperbolic with the example. Let's just go. You can say that people that attended KKK rally, by the way, KKK is held up as though it was like, literally like fucking the craziest evil empire of all time. There might be like active, what, a thousand in the world? It's like some shit from like 70 years ago, for fuck's sake. You don't even keep up. They attended a KKK rally. Yeah, a British guy went to America and attended a massive KKK rally that they definitely have over there. That's totally not illegal. It wouldn't get you fucked up. In 2017, shouldn't face half consequences if they are good at what they do. Yeah, me making a joke on Twitter and apologizing for it. It's like going to a KKK rally and then just going, yeah, what about it? I'm working the next fucking year, so clone that up, oh, dickhead. No consequences. <laughs> Dorin has enough shit in his resume to ban him for life. So far, we've named uh, said Poland a shit country, and there. And remember, here's the maddest thing about the idea: I'm so racist, etc. One of my complaints about Poland was that in their football crowds, the ultras would do things like throw banana peels on the pitch and do monkey sounds towards black players. I was calling out racism. That's one of the things that triggered the all because they're in denial. But no, no. Me calling that out and then making a joke about what someone else was saying about monkeys means that's enough of a resume. I should be banned for life because that's like attending a KKK rally and I will never forgive him for it. You don't need to. You're not in luminosity. I don't require your fucking forgiveness. I don't apologize to you. I don't give a fucking you know what about that. <laughs> you won't catch me, motherfucker. You won't catch me. There's the classic tweet. And then this one, I mean, I actually like Rush. It's just this is a non sequitur. So let's just, what I'll do is I'll do what you should do when you read my tweets. I'll tell you my tweet, then I'll explain what the point of the tweet is, and we'll see if the person replied to the point. So I said, Fallen's the most, I did a whole, by the way, video about this. You can go watch it, I'll prove it even mathematically. Fallen is the most overrated player in the history of CSGO, has never even been the best player on any lineup, but people try to make it sound like the guy was Zidane. Now let's break that down. 
He's overrated, and the main reason why is he was never even the best player on his team in CSGO. By the way, that's factually true. In early CSGO, he played with people like KNG, actually. Then he played with uh, Fur. By the way, Fur was far and away the best player on that team when they were like Keith Stars and um, what were the Kaboom. Then he got called Zero, who was way better than him the whole time they were there. Then when called Zero left, he had KNG. KNG was pretty good. He had Fur still. He was never, ever the best player. But people tried to make it sound like he was Zidane, a guy who was the best player on his team. I think he was the best player in the world at the time. He's a guy who won like a fucking World Cup final for them. He's a guy who won basically a Champions League final by himself doing that fucking unbelievable volley. So I've made my point pretty clear. Overrated, never the best player on his team. And people make it sound like he was the best player in the world. What does Rush reply to those statements? How many players have been the best in their team as an IGL? You agree with me then? If pe You agree then, if people make him sound like Zidane, but he's actually an in-game leader and that makes it in incapable of being the best, you agree with me. But no, you're just trying to go, yeah, but what about and this and what about ism? Maybe one to two. Right, then you even acknowledge, by the way, there have been people who could be the best as IGL. Well, fucking hell, make your point, mate. You're getting lost there, pal. Especially one that micromanages as much as he does. He didn't micromanage as far as I heard. That wasn't what they did. They did a lot of theory and then they would just play it out in the rounds. I think you far undervalue what he brings to a team beside just numbers. Right, so you're acknowledging we can't know what he does and what he calls. So then how can we possibly rate him as highly as if he was a Zidane or one of the greatest, like number two player in a year? You made my own fucking argument for me. And then this guy even gets it down here. He goes, but then he is correct since many, many fans act like he has been the best player on his teams. Just obviously gets Corral hard to fuck. By the way, I did get the nice 5k likes on that. So who gives a fuck? Yeah, I don't care about this. I don't read those. Don't worry about that. You get the 3.9k for your bollocks non sequitur, but it's all good. There's not too many more to go, but we'll get through these. This guy goes, fuck you, Raz. How am I not a positive streamer? Are you ready? That's a joke, obviously. It's a facetious comment to Raz, a friend of his. And it's just a banter, isn't it? Like they're pretending Dom's toxic. This guy... Challenger LOL, LAN player. LAN is the Latin American server. That's absolutely dog shit, by the way. He's going to try to pass some knowledge to the younger generation. Let's see what wisdom he's going to pass out. Dom joking about not being positive. If you quit Twitter, right? Yes, and I'll quit Twitter to be a positive streamer. This guy's not triggered. Right? Why don't you quit Twitter, moron? And stop being friends with Thorin, right? Not even stop doing shows. He has to stop being friends with me. He can't even associate with me off Twitter or off stream. You would probably be the best league streamer of many, right? The only thing stopping him being the best league streamer, you know, like when he's on the stream and how he does all the stuff on the stream, you would think it's your, your performance on the stream would make you the best. No, no. What makes you the best is if you no longer use Twitter and aren't friends with me. That seems like you're not mentally ill. This is great knowledge you pass on to the youth. Can't say the best of the West because Bouse exists, right? But he can't say you're the best in all of the Western regions because the Bouse FFF exists and ints to try and win and uses AI voice things to play rap lyrics, lyrics that say naughty words and it sounds like his voice said it by the way at what point when you do that is that the same as you just recording you saying that word and then playing it through like I don't know a filter or something how is that that much different surely logically you had to take those lyrics and copy and paste them in how how far is the abstraction at that point no, I don't think you should get banned for that but how far is the abstraction mate not even mind Cadrill he's only popular because it's fun watching him suffer you seem a bit toxic. Just going to say that, mate. Just going to throw that out there. Just going to throw that out there. Lena was both the president of TSM and dated Reginald, the owner of TSM. The notion she didn't know about all the shit he was doing is absurd. She apparently only has an issue with it when she isn't being paid anymore by TSM and Reginald. That's just totally factually accurate, a bunch of facts. And then my interpretation out is just actually a very reasonable one. It's not even something outrageous. This guy, just a moron, goes, you probably wouldn't talk shit about a company you were working for either. Pause. Right. When I worked for, um, let me see, Flashpoint, every time anyone asked me, I said, actually, we don't have any good teams. In fact, I even used to say publicly, like, these teams are fucking cowards. Like, they don't even have good lineups. I used to challenge them all publicly because I'm so gangster, I could get away with that, by the way. When I've worked for tournament organizers, I've criticized them, said they didn't do things right, quite frankly. <coughs> I've done that repeatedly. You wouldn't because you're a bitch and a coward. So he goes, unless you're actually willing to get fired. Yeah, I was. 
I wanted Flashpoint to succeed so much. I even said in a tweet, it will either be the best tournament ever or I will leave. So when I knew it couldn't be the best tournament ever, I turned down a six-figure $125,000 contract to attend two tournaments and do weekly shows and be the creative director. And be, even though I could have just sat on that and I knew it would probably work, go out that year. And everyone else told me, just take the money and fucking just coast for the year and then the project will close. And I said, I won't do that. That's in bad faith. I said that this project had to be the best. It's not going to be, so I'm leaving. You can take your contract and shove it up your ass. And I left. Even though, by the way, I had stock in Flashpoint, which was, I, I was given as a reward for working double the hours of anyone else. And that stock ended up being worth nothing, not least because I left the company. So the company went to shit. It did one event very briefly after this and then died. You don't know what her options were at the time, right? Oh, the poor victim. Oh, oh, the poor victim president of the entire company. You can't know what her options are. She might have people above her, like, oh, wait, she's the boss. Yeah, my bad. Yeah, my bad. And different to Doublelift, he actually had a way to continue alone because of his fan base. Yet Doublelift didn't talk shit about TSM while he was actually in TSM. And actually, even just afterwards, he said it had been a privilege and, the, and an honour to play in TSM again. It's only when Lena started telling him to talk shit, Lady Macbeth style, that he started going crazy. And then what's that down here? Good old Chris J literally comes out and goes, why would you write this to someone who has risked his paycheck time and time again, calling people and companies out? I've even called out TOs who then don't want to work with me because of that. You know nothing. For a start off, you were born in 1994, for fuck's sake, shut your fucking mouth. Here's a good one. Thorin's logic. You can be racist as long as you apologize afterwards. LMAO. Right. What is the appropriate response? Like hung, drawn, and quartered? Uh, caned with a thousand lashes? I don't put in prison for three years. Well, what would be the appropriate response? If you said something and people were like, that's a bit racist. Oh, is it? Well, I fucking didn't intend it that way. I'm sorry about that. Nah. Nah, you think you can just do that and apologize? Yeah, actually, I do think people can uh, make mistakes and apologize. That's almost the... Actually, I know you're not Anglo. It's actually one of the fundamental things that Anglo people created and gave to the world through common law. It's actually a beautiful concept, isn't it? <clears throat> it's also a Christian ideal, isn't it? Here's a good one, where Device was talking shit at me, where I complained, I said, Carrigan beats his old teams because he beat Astralis. And Device went mental and was like, don't, why don't you at me if you're going to talk shit about me? And also, don't come like, when I'm back on top, don't come back. By the way, how did that work out, dickhead? How did that milk turn out, Device head? When, when did he get back on top? How many more majors you win, pal? How many more lands you win, pal? Any lands, pal? No lands, pal. Because your org was fucking up, as I was calling them out for. He goes, I go, imagine how narcissistic you have to be to want praise and no criticism or memes when you lose and look absolutely terrible doing it. Fuck out of here. He goes, nothing narcissistic about it. At me if you have a problem. I was never actually tweeting about him. Thing is, everyone understands why we are losing. Yeah, because your org's fucking around as I'm trying to expose, but you're pretending they aren't so you can get le bag again. Shouldn't that, shouldn't be that tough for an esports historian to figure out. I already know more than you. What is annoying? I don't care if what's annoying, mate. Just fucking tune out. Jog on. Go to the next saloon. I'm not making you come to my Twitter, dickhead. Unfollow me. What is annoying is that you are just riding a wave and staying relevant by being edgy. No, no. It's impossible for someone irrelevant to say something and then be relevant. You know what makes statements relevant? The relevancy of the person. If a random person down here, random guy, this guy, Sekiro, if he'd said something, why didn't Device reply to him? Because he's irrelevant. doesn't matter what he says. You're replying to me because I am very relevant. I even know you. You've known me. I've known you many years. We had many conversations in all sorts of settings. And it's because of how relevant I am that you're annoyed that I said it. And you have to reply to this. Again, without even any, not even a tag. Your name isn't even mentioned here. I go, I don't need to at you, loser. By the way, he'd literally just lost the game. Go call your girlfriend if you want to rage out about the game. By the way, that would be appropriate. Don't rage at me, mate. Call your girlfriend for emotional support. This guy who's a producer for, for fucking ESL decides to berate me. Like, oh, it's not a good look. I don't give a fuck what your looks like, dickhead. Fuck off back behind the TV. So I told him, go fuck yourself. This guy goes, you should be removed from your analyst job immediately. Okay, cool. So because I said, go fuck yourself, to someone who isn't working for Blast on Twitter, I should be removed from analyzing events for Blast. That will make sense to you? Nah, doesn't really. This guy's mentally ill. 
Here's a good one. This guy's an old school journalist for Vacab from the French scene. I think it comes from Sauce. He's a fanboy of mine. He's actually said that many times. But he always has to say something utterly mental. And he never, ever gets the point. So I said down here, because journalists had been really rude to me, get ready, chapter 3034, and why HLTV journalists have no integrity and can't be relied upon to follow even the basic ethical standards of their profession. Then I put, Kusta is balling right now, and put a screenshot of some stats. So remember, let's see the point. My point was about journalists for HLTV not having integrity and not following ethical standards of their profession. I then showed data from a database. So nothing to do with journalists or their integrity or the standards. He goes, classic Thorin hating on HLTV. No, no, I didn't hate on HLTV. I said their journalists have no integrity and they don't follow basic ethical standards. Now, you just said you hate HLTV and then you used HLTV. So that's like me going on a train and if someone who works on that train as a ticket guy abusing me on the train, I get off and go, I can't believe the fucking employee of this train line abuse people like this in an unethical, unprofessional way. And then I get on my connection to another train and he goes, ah, you hated on the train and now you're on a train. These people are supposed to be fucking journalists, bro. This is mental. Three clicks, Philip. I made a good one here. I said, three clicks, Philip, seems to be operating. Can we get any more band here? Come on, show yourself, guys. Let's get you out the fucking chat. Three clicks, Philip, seems to be operating under the impression he is the only one who gets to interpret what he said and what we said. Very, quite, a, quite a very relevant statement, isn't it? Because that's what he indeed did do. Almost like there's something wrong with this guy, dot, dot, dot. And then he goes, you made fun of his voice. Uh, yeah, actually, funny enough, at the time, I did it in an affectionate manner, didn't I? If you go and listen to that video and actually have some social awareness to look how we're behaving because we weren't even calling him out. And accusing him, I didn't accuse him of anything. Richard said, as a joke, he must be getting paid by Cloud9 to do that. As an obvious facetious joke. Then clarified a million times he never meant that as an actual statement of allegation. I mean, he's a journalist for fuck's sake. That would have been professional even say, you moron. Goes, accusing him of taking hidden sponsor deals on stream before he said anything about any of you two. But hey, go off on how Poland is full of monkeys or whatever you do again. When have I ever said Poland's full of monkeys, you cretin? This is a good one. Can you post a link where you accused him of it? Just go to this podcast. Except that was Richard Lewis who even made the joke. But no, no, I am Richard Lewis. Again, we just merged into one. And then someone basically says it was Richard Lewis. He goes, no problem. Richard Lewis blocked me anyway when he was, at rant when he was ranting against female esports. That never happened. Never, ever did Richard Lewis ever rant against female esports teams. And why does it matter? If someone corrects you, you just say, yeah, oh, sorry, I'm wrong. And then you go, oh, I retract my statement. I was factually wrong about that. My apologies. It would be terrible to accuse people of things they haven't done when they haven't said anything about that. This is a good one. Same guy. Just so you know, he's mentally ill. A few years earlier. Right. I go... Eastern Europeans usually look better on train. Now, what's brilliant about that is this. If you've ever been on one of these trains in like Ukraine, Russia, they're fucking sick, by the way. They are really old Soviet-style trains, but see the way this is there. There's four beds that's come out. You can just rent this cabin super cheap because how shit their economies are. So you can just rent all four beds or you can bring someone with you and then rent it all out. It's like just in, being in, off, in a little fucking space capsule going through space. You're just on the, you're in there, you go on like a six-hour journey. It's like... It'll like rock you to sleep. It's fucking sick. It's a little adventure. It's like camping, but on a train. It's fucking dope. So I've been on those trains. They are sick. And because I saw this cool picture where obviously these sexy women are like playing cards on it or whatever, I said, and I even saved myself on this, I put Eastern Europeans usually look better on train. Now he's trying to apply because he's mentally ill. I did a dog whistle, as in something humans can't hear, but only he can detect because he, he has a special sense for racist xenophobes. And he thinks I'm saying Eastern Europeans look better on trains when they're being sent to gulags to be murdered or tortured. Except I intentionally said look better on train because this is in 2018. And famously, do you know the best play, uh, players I'm from eSports? in esports of CS were on the map DE train. It was Eastern Europeans. It was people like the Pauls of Virtus Pro. It was people like um, Blade's uh, Flipside team. It was people like uh, fucking Zeus's Navi. I've intentionally put on train so that actually that couldn't mistake couldn't even happen. But at my mistake, you're a cretin. My bad. This guy goes, I can't, because he was having an argument with Amazing. This guy, random moron, 
comes in. I'm literally friends with both people, by the way, and I host shows, and I'm one of the best at interpreting what both of them mean where they're having a communication dispute. So I go, if you want, we can do a show. We can just have a discussion about this, boys. He goes, my favourite part is Thorin. By the way, you're replying to a literal friend of mine, remember? My favourite part is try, Thorin trying to grub into a show idea. I'm the greatest host, show host in the history of podcasts. No one's done more, and I've done all the best. I've created like 50 shows, you fucking loser. Homeboy constantly trying to profit off real LOL minds. That's what it is. When you actually uh, create a show, you're just grubbing, trying to profit off their minds. They, their minds are incapable of communicating and having a discussion right now, by the way. Hate to see it. I don't know who's right and wrong. Oh, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about? Brilliant. Okay, cool. Sludge has just subscribed. But amazing is acting way childish, and you seem to be super rational and respectful. Yeah, he just goes, lol, I can't, and doesn't even reply to the guy. How super respectful, respectful and rational. He, amazing was trying to make arguments the whole time. I don't know what's going on. You don't know anything, mate. You're a cretin. Here's a good one. So what happened was, TSM had a video that I proved no one had ever taken it down, was still on the TSM YouTube channel with loads of subs, a decade later, and if you watched it, in the video, he calls Russian players from Moscow 5 what people in the modern day would describe as the F-slur. Just on his YouTube channel, it's up 10 years later. But then they're an orc talking shit on other people. So what I said is this. TSM took down the video of Reggie saying some words he can't afford to be saying. One, guilty conscience, because he didn't acknowledge it. Two, a good journalist always saves evidence before he shows his I've got it saved. Don't worry about that. Three, get your lotion for the summer. It's going to be hot because I've roasted the fuck out of them. This loser, because TSM fans literally, Reggie could actually be like beating someone to death. And then if you said, hey, stop that, they would be like, get down, Reggie. Get down, Mr. President. Hey, leave him alone, man. He's a good guy. Imagine attacking a man who has a large age gap using evidence from seven years ago to try and cancel him because you lost your job for racist remarks, calling Reggie and later the Brazilian team's monkeys. Don't you think an apology made is what accepted? Don't think an apology made is what accepted. You are a bit old. Get ready. This is a fucking master. It's a Brazilian, by the way. This is a masterclass. It's a masterclass. So I'm going to show you all parts of this. So watch this. <clears throat> Remember, there's a large age gap between me and Reggie. Now, he makes that so it sounds like I'm attacking a child, right? This tweet was made in 2020. So four years ago, I would have been 37 and Reginald would have been 28 years old. But the age gap's very relevant. Imagine attacking a man who has a large age gap. He's 28 years old, mate. What? Using evidence. Yeah, I did use evidence, didn't I? You can't hand wave from seven years ago. Let's do the math. 28 minus seven. So he was 21 years old when on camera as the owner of a giant organ esports with a bazillion fans making loads of money, millionaire, he said the F slur to Russian people. And I shouldn't use that evidence ever. And by putting that on the internet, I've tried to cancel him. Trying to cancel him is when you go and contact all their sponsors. When you contact all the TOs and say, how oh, do you allow this guy to play? When you contact, right, I didn't do any of that. I put it on the internet and said, this, this exists on the internet. That's me trying to cancel him. And by the way, he then tries to cancel me because he's a moron. Just because you lost your job. No, it's because he said that thing in the video. You know, the evidence you admitted that I just actually showed. For racist remarks calling Reggie, I never called Reggie a monkey. What I said was that if this scenario was the film Planet of the Apes, then he has the character of the character, he had the same personality as the character Caesar. I never said he is a monkey. And then, notice, he, they always lie. He goes, and also later, the Brazilian team's monkeys. First of all, I didn't call any team monkeys. I definitely didn't call teams. But he's gone from a team to all the teams. And because he's gone to all the teams, it's only a hip scop and a jump to every single Brazilian. So again, as someone not in any of those teams or Reginald, he just wants to let me know that because I made an apology that was literally accepted at the moment by Taco, etc. on Twitter and Fallen and a bunch of them. I didn't even ask them since they was a problem. They said, no, they didn't think I was racist. I even asked them, I even asked Reggie in a Reflections interview this very year or a year before, do you actually think I was racist? And he went, no, Thorin, of course I don't. Like, I think you were just fucking talking shit on the show or whatever. So Reggie actually did accept the apology. He goes, don't think an apology made is what accepted. You are bitter, old man. Right, brilliant. So 
He doesn't apo- accept my apology to Reginald or Luminosity Gaming. Cool. I don't know what the fuck the relevance would be. We're almost done here. Here's a good one. <coughs> Another French twat. A guy from uh, AAA. I think he did a bunch of uh, CS history back in the day. Okay, decent stuff. <coughs> I said on Twitter, first person ever in the world, reliably to know this, that Astralis were trying to get Valde and uh, Device. They were. Valde turned them down, admittedly on my advice. And they were going to get Device back. He was coming back from NIP. No one knew this yet. And they even published on AA Gaming, Return of the Legend. <coughs> this guy... Who, in theory, has been around in esports history. He goes, take it with a pinch of salt. Thorin is absolutely not a reliable source. That's a total lie. That's an absolute total lie. That's an absolute barefaced lie. I have never told a lie in my entire professional career of 23 years. So why would I be unreliable when I tell you I know something and I've sourced it? He doesn't have 600 subscribers, whatever that means. Whatever that means. Now, here's what's mad about this fucking loser. Watch. This was in June the 3rd. On the 27th of October, Device returns in Astralis. Unreliable, of course. But don't worry, though. When I unbanned this guy, he was just all over my nuts, including literally nine hours ago. Uh, On the 19th, he's talking about me. Just probably about me in jail. There you go. Still talking about me years later. Talking about me. This is all this year, by the way. Talking about me. This is all this year. Oh, by the way, just subtitle part of my interview there. By the way, I could actually copyright strike this and take it down if I want, but even though I'm unreliable, I'm going to get talking about me last year. Talking about me last year. Subtitle my interviews again. Why are you taking my content and stealing it, by the way? I didn't give you permission to use that. Talking about me, talking about me, talking about me, talking about me, talking about me. We haven't even gone out of 2023 yet. 2022, talking about me, 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 talking about me. This is also a search for Thorin. Talking about me, talking about me, talking about me. Yeah, just me, just blah, blah, blah. You can't stop talking about me, bro. Talking about 2021, talking about me in 2021. Then we'll skip back five years to 2016. Oh, what's that? You loved my video. I liked the video. Thorin starts your real level. I liked the video. Thorin versus Shaq. I liked the video. Thorin inside the NBA. Oh, there's a new Thorin top 10 guys in 2015. I like this video. Thorin. I like this video. Thorin. I like this video. Thorin and his world rankings. It's the video. By the way, all these videos, he's unreliable. I love these fucking videos. I fucking love them. Oh, bloody love them. Oh, look at this. How Thorin has played a large role in forming gaming communities. I'm just going to share this article about how he's so important in forming gaming communities. Apparently that bug doesn't even exist anymore. Thorin, 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 Thorin. I like this video of Thorin. There's his 15 top moments. I like this video of Thorin. Thorin is very interesting, isn't he? He was at a fucking... This is like when I was at a presser with Grobby and Zero Gravity. Go look it up if you want. And I fucking murked them because they were all talking out of their asses, PR style. And I just showed them they were full of shit because I never took any shit from anyone. Love you, bloody unreliable bastard. Because I blocked him, by the way. Because I blocked him on Twitter, in case you wonder why that is. Why he just t- changed his whole opinion about me. <coughs> I've only got two to go now. And then we'll do a piece of news and some Q&A and wrap up. The esports community's response to Thorin's bullshit, this is brilliant, from 2018, gives me the good feels. I appreciate Sky Williams breaking it down with a personal touch. We don't get to decide for others if we cause them harm. This is going to become amazing as a tweet. But we do get to decide how to respond when our error is made known to us. Let me just see if I can find some evidence for you a second. Remember what he said, you don't get to decide if you cause other people scar. Uh, other people, um, right, watch, are you ready? You know Sky Williams, the guy he praises for calling me out? So four years ago, two years after that tweet, uh, LS came out and said Sky Williams owes people over $350,000 and scammed them and took loans off all these people. Sky Williams may have scammed everyone. The downfall of Sky Williams, the history of manipulation. And there's even a video by Sky Williams saying, listening to me is not a good idea. Sky Williams controversy. Sky Williams lied about his father's cancer and owes over $350,000 to community members. 
He told an insider he owes over 200,000. Yep, that's your hero. There he goes, my hero. I bet he's the wind beneath your wings, isn't he? Last one, I think. Since this guy had talked shit and said about how when he retired, he would reveal what a piece of shit I am. By the way, later, he apologized privately. Then on my Reflections interview at the end of 2023, I forced him to tell me what he had on me as dirt. He apologized, said that it was wrong to call me a piece of shit, and he had no dirt on me at all. It was just something stupid he said. So I decided, well, you know what? If you're going to literally lie publicly about having dirt on me, fuck you. I'm a roast you. So then when he was playing this tournament, with spoiler, he did not win. I just pointed out, when he did that, that's how many major losses in finals he's finna have. Because he was losing most of the finals he was in, wasn't he? He'd only won one. This person goes, can someone explain what happened between them? Didn't Thorin used to love Simple? If you even just Googled Thorin Simple, it would be the first thing. By the way, the thread about Simple calling me a piece of shit and lying about me. People on Reddit are so demonic and inverted. It's something like the 25th most upvoted post in the history of the global offensive subreddit. It's just a tweet of him lying about me. And had thousands of comments, I think. Let me double check, actually. Let's double check that quickly. We'll have a look, shall we? It just has the small amount of 24.3k points and 1,940 comments. Just simple lying about me, of course. Having a lie. So this guy goes, this is why simple hates me. He says that about me, that I started talking shit about... By the way, the original thing that happened was I said that Fallen's overrated. And then he came in and told me, like, I'm wrong or I'm a piece of shit or something stupid. And I basically told him, like, fuck off, kid. Go out, you go and say some more stuff that Richard Lewis never said because he also lied about Richard Lewis on stream because he didn't understand what he was saying. And did. I, I actually even admit to me later his English isn't very good and needs blade to translate sometimes. So he goes, he started talking shit about Ukraine, Azov, the Azov Battalion, etc. counter walk pro-Russian agenda and simple had enough of it. So now we're just going to completely fabricate what even happened. Just make it all up. Just make it all up. At least this guy fucked off out of CS in 2022. Doesn't, doesn't CS isn't even life anymore. This guy knows he lied, didn't he? Knows he's having a lie. Having a cheeky lie. By the way, wouldn't it be way more disrespectful to lie about the situation of what someone said about Ukraine as of and say they did Russian propaganda if they didn't? Wouldn't that be a horrendous thing to do in a militarized conflict where people are dying on both sides? And actually doing those things might get you put on like a literal kill list and might actually cause people to attack you in real life. Wouldn't that be incredibly irresponsible? Hmm. It's almost like I've had enough of your shit, you fucking cretin. Right, that is the end of petty grievances. This will be a video one day on YouTube. Oh, there's a few people subbed. Protoss Locos, Nikul 2000. But I've got one piece of news to show you that is pure banter. <clears throat> Kay Serato did an interview with this like somewhat famous journalist, I think Leonardo Biazzi. I might be thinking of someone for football there, to be fair. For Esports GG, which has a bit of a stupid reputation, but it's okay. Headline, I'm not afraid, because I've always said he's wasting his prime by saying Fury. I'm not afraid of wasting this so-called prime because I don't think I'm in my prime. So the best part is the so-called prime. He's actually one of the best players in the world and has been for like three or four years now. But that's just a so-called prime. He hasn't even gone to 50%. He's sadicist, did he? He hasn't even gone to 100%. He's on 50%, boys. He hasn't even put his arse in gear. He's still sat up playing his little brother. He hasn't even leaned forwards yet, even though he's one of the best players in the world. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Because I don't think I'm in my prime. How would you know? You can't predict the future. And also, guess what? I know better about players and how their careers go. I've watched every great player in history. I can tell you, you're very much in your prime. I doubt you'll ever be better than you are now because you also hit the age and had the longevity where there's just no reason you couldn't get better. And you almost can't get much better as a rifler than this guy, unless you're maybe Don Zebu. That's about it. So he goes, but I don't think I'm in my prime. Oh, my, my bad. Sorry I said you're in your prime and you're a fucking mega player too good for that team. I didn't realise you were actually the greatest player to ever compete in esports. And as I say on Twitter, you're just in your bulking phase. You're just fucking chilling right now, mate. You're only going to get started soon. I'll tell you what, could you pull your finger out your ass and actually get going, mate? <laughs> fucking hell. So ridiculous, isn't it? The ego on these fuckers. It's just hubris. 
So some of these are just ones I found. They're not even people on necessarily block. They're just fucking hilarious ones. So here's a good one. This guy, Jake Gab. I think when it says educational AV, it actually implies he's some sort of teacher. And all I'm going to say is, look at his fucking face. You could totally believe it, couldn't you? Look at his face. Could you believe this person was a teacher who might put mental shit on the internet? Bro, this is nightmare fuel. Like, if you ever get assigned that teacher, all I'm going to say is, if you are a girl who's teenage, like, be on your, be on, be on, keep your fucking head on a swivel. How about that? Oh, he just uses Harry Potter stupid comments. Disney, the acolyte, things. We can already see this guy's a real winner. So let's see what he had to say to me. Uh, slasher, yeah, you old rat slasher, said some stupid shit about the Valorant dev team being better than the CS dev team, blah, 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 blah. So then this guy comes in. Thurin has a vested interest in ensuring Valorant doesn't usurp CS score, right? That's actually mental because obviously I'm actually one of the people who, from actually not even that long into the game, I already started doing shows with people, did some interviews with people who were in Valorant. Some of my friends worked in Valorant. Actually, Flashpoint, this very fucking year, I think maybe a month after this, did a tournament in fucking Valorant called Pop Flash. Not the show that later on DeSerto did in CS. So, as usual, no fucking clue what they're talking about. They're just talking about an imaginary version of me to other people on the internet. Yeah, why not? Yeah, just go for it, I guess. And then, also, the idea it was ever going to usurp CS Go. What's funny is, I'll just tell you straight up, there were some people who worked from CS in the industry, like, are you scared it'll take over CS Go? And I said, here's the reasons why it won't. It's made by Riot Games, so it'll never have any of the edge. CS is all about edge, you idiots. Two, it has shit maps, because I'd already seen what the beta looked like. The maps are essentially what makes CS really good. Three, the gun controls and the spray is nothing like CS. Understanding the spray is probably the main thing that people, there's the appeal of CS. So yes, in the same ways, if you had a shit rocket launcher in a Doom or a Quake game, it's not going to be a very good game, is it? Or a bad shotgun in Quake, in Doom. They just ruined the whole game. That's the whole heart of the game is those weapons. Then also, there's the whole comps angle with different agents. Well, that's nothing like CS. That's like a fucking MOBA, like Dota, Smite, League of Legends. Or it's like Overwatch, isn't it? So I even told people, it won't kill CS2, CS Go. It might kill Overwatch. It might get that game. So I said that from the very beginning. I was never ever taught. Oh, and then also, I know shit heel riots and how damn stupid their circuits are. And so I also knew they'd do this. And they wouldn't just let everyone else run tournaments. They'd make their own, like, stupid LCS that's called VCT. And they'd have two or three international tournaments. Whereas in CS, every three weeks of an international tournament of varying sizes. So they'll never understand and they'll regionalise people and split everyone off and silo them. So I knew from day one it could never have replaced CSGO because it's nothing like CSGO. It doesn't even appeal to the same people. Yeah, some people who were former pros in CSGO who weren't good or got sick of their situation or were sick of the online era said, fuck it and go out to Valorant. That's it. That's it. Why isn't Donk playing Valorant? Why aren't these young guys playing Valorant? Why aren't the mouse guys playing Valorant? Why isn't Malbs playing Valorant? Exactly. They're just totally different games. In fact, the cool thing is that it does just leech from stuff like Overwatch. People who came and played League of Legends, because in that game you can go, oh, they're being mean to me in the voice chat. And then Valve uh, Riot might actually be mental enough to go, we are going to do something about this? Whereas, like, if you even sent that message into, like, I don't know, it's not Gabe Neal, but whoever the fuck at Valve, they, they're not even checking that, mate. That phone's just never never been answered, if they even indeed rang, if you know what I mean. No one gives a fuck what they say to you, you moron. <clears throat> His biggest fear, right? A guy who's never met me, he knows fuck all about me, he's already decided I have a vested interest in ensuring it doesn't use CSGO. I know what he means. In theory, I do. I just don't because I can move between any game. He doesn't know this. I don't come from Counter-Strike. I did all of Counter-Strike. I came from Quake. Interesting, isn't it? Yeah, funny how that works. He goes, his biggest fear, let's get in, let's get into it, Sigmund Freud. Tell me what my biggest fear is. His biggest fear, get ready for this, this is age phenomenally, is having to admit that Riot makes a better shooter than Valve. Oh, you know what? All I'm going to say is this. Almost every single person who was ever a good player in CSGO, who's a pro or a coach now or a caster in Valorant, says to me privately, <clears throat> I sound like fucking Robert F. Kennedy right now, just got a little bit of a cold. <laughs> 
they all tell me they hate the circuit. They hate the lack of replays. They hate the way things are done by Riot and the stupid system with the maps. And they wish that they could just come back to CS2. And they go, she could just have a career in CS2. I thought the most gangster was when I interviewed Ethan, who is currently still the reigning world champion of Valorant because the Champions 2024 hasn't finished. And he said in his interview that winning ESL 1 New York, so not even a prestige event in CS, was actually bigger than in his career than winning Champions, the world championship of Valorant in 2023. Same thing Chet said about winning those events. A whole bunch of people said very, very similar things, basically. Funny how that works here. Are you ready? So not only am I a biggest fear is to admit that Riot made a better shooter, but get ready, this is mental. And that burning those bridges was always a childish... He's mad that I burned my bridges with Riot Games. Do you know why I burned my bridges with Riot Games? So that they can't come over the other side of the bridge. I don't ever want to deal with them. They are people who literally en masse have sexually harassed women and their fellow colleagues who were even men as well. They then tried to cover it up and actually then allegedly fucked with the lawyers of those people. And by the way, you always hear it's a lawsuit. It was arbitration. There's a, there's a whole thing that was built into what was going on with that. So already the idea I'd want to work with them then. They've lied one billion fucking times. I knew with people like Monty and others, the top people at Riot in the early days and what utter clowns they were and how they thought it was going to be like the NFL. So they were designing it all to be like the NFL, have the fuck all best of five series, etc., and just single a limb and all that jazz because they thought, we're going to the NFL. So they didn't have any clue what fucking League of Legends was about. And then more importantly, you know this in 2020 about how I burned those bridges. Well, the problem is a year or two before this, someone from Riot came to me, I've told the story before, and back channel to me because remember I was going to do the LPL finals in like I don't know what was it 2019 spring or something I would have been the host for the LPL finals I even was in China and then Riot heard about this like whatever Riot China or whatever the LPL whatever had hired me they, they wanted to work with me and then Riot heard and then cancelled it well, what happened is because I outed that like oh this is what they do to people they just fucking fuck with you then someone from Riot came to me at an event even like a spy came to me uh, uh, presenting as someone totally different and then basically said, like, right, I'm from Riot. Listen, this is a back channel. You went about it the wrong way, but listen, all I'm going to tell you is that if you were not to say criticize Riot for the next year or two, let's just say I can't promise it, but you'd be doing worlds. I've never ever worked a Riot League of Legends event, by the way. But if I just didn't tweet about them or do any critical work about them, I would have been working the World Championship of League of Legends, which would have been after this tweet. So it's almost like Jake Gab. Gab means to talk a lot. You should shut the fuck up because you don't know what you're talking about on even a factual level. And you know why I didn't do that and just said fuck it and kept flaming Riot? Because I am not a little dick suck like you who wants to work for Riot. It's not my dream. I was here. I'm so fucking OG. I was here when Riot hadn't even been thought of as a company or startup. I think Riot hadn't even existed and I'd already done eight years of professional work in fucking esports being paid. I am their fucking OG and they will address me as such. I give a fuck less. Riot might get might become a trillion dollar company. I couldn't give a fuck less. They're the little cousin I hold the head of like this so they can't they swing and they don't even reach to me. I'm like the fucking son to Riot. Don't even bother fucking reaching for it. You can't reach. You can't reach. It'll always be up there above you, shining down but you'll never reach it. Understand that, dickhead. That's why I fucking murked every c within Riot I didn't like, every shitter CEO, every one of those fucking orgs. And what can they do to me? Sit back and fucking take it like the rest. Take a line and get in, take a number, get in line and fucking cry about it, idiot. Pretty trivial to think otherwise. No, what's trivial is what a cretin you are, but let's just see your history, shall we? So that was in 2020. Oh, don't worry, this person's mental. Like essentially, for years, I was never checking it. Like, almost daily, he was just insulting me. Are you ready to see how mental this guy is? Watch this. March, four years earlier, 2016, stop generalizing in 140 character tweets. People would actually say, hey, why are you generalizing in this tweet? You used to only be able to have 140 characters in a tweet. People who are stupider than anything I could expound upon in that length. Ha, at Thorin using stupid in a non-ironic way, lel. Doing numbers here. Thing about League of Legends broadcast, this was utter garbage, which detracted from actual analysis and added nothing meaningful. Story of your career. 
the previous month. Then the month before that, the LCS is such a good concept. By the way, this is the year I was on fucking TV in America. Oh, wait, all the non-league tournaments don't have any of these visa problems. They're too busy being irrelevant to see that it happened because of one country being in the midst of a refugee crisis. Same month, a few weeks earlier. Don't even know what I tweeted. You give your opinion the same way Hitler gave people a shower. Apparently Hitler gave people showers. I don't really know if you know the mechanics of World War II. I'm not sure, not sure if you do. Or why that would be an appropriate thing to tweet, by the way. Some would say you sound mentally ill. I wonder what I call myself. Subscribe, Toothless, Zero, 108, Wrestler, Grahman, or GR, Four Men. Same, same exact day. I thought sellouts was pretty catchy about some double lift. And he's obviously blocked me, so I have no idea what he said. And he goes, Thorin is just angry that sponsors, or oh, well, anyone, haven't given him an option to sell out. I think at this time I had a sponsor that just paid like 6K a month just for that one sponsor. But hey, what do I know? I'm a broke comedian. By the way, this year, I made a video, but I think I made like fucking 80K just working for E-League for fuck's sake. It wasn't even my main income. Let's keep going. December the year before. Definitely not a fucking loser, by the way. I point out the prize money. Dota 2, $31 million prize money. LOL, $7.6 million. In before fanboys attempt to suggest riot stipends made up a $23 million gap. Oh, don't worry, they used to. Did you have to Google the definition of fan for this tweet? If you, like a week earlier. Someone fucks, at CLG fucks up, fan. Where was Hotshot? Someone fucks up at TSM. Fan, Reggie shouldn't be responsible for that. I wonder if they can hear you over the sound of sponsors lining up on their doorstep. How are the sponsors doing for TSM and CLG now, dickhead? Oh, what was that? Did TSM base their whole fucking org in esports on an FTX sponsorship for like $110 million over 10 years? Now, I told you, you'll never see all that. And did that guy actually end up sort of going to prison and lose all the money and they lose their fucking arse? Yo, and did they have to pay millions to sort out to leave the country and not play for them and then lose money as well because a Chinese manager agent guy just nicked money between people and embezzled. Lol! Here's the thing. I'm still standing in League of Legends like I was before. And where the fuck's TSM? TSM! They they fuck... Yeah, exactly. Oh, my bad. I didn't consider that you may not be sure what a sponsor is. Can't fault you. You haven't run across many. This is when I work all the big events, by the way. I even actually have, um, later, I told you in a few months, like a massive sponsor for loads of cash. But his only thing is like, you're broke. You're fucking broke. You don't even have money. Oh, look, you haven't got money. What are you talking about? you? Because he's a TSM fan, so he actually somehow... You know how I'm a Liverpool fan? And I don't really do this. But obviously, it, when I cheer for Liverpool, I do it because they're brilliant. But you can imagine I cheer and I go, we won! If I would, imagine if Liverpool won the European Champions League and I was like, yes, yes, we've won! He does that when he hears that TSM gets a sponsor. That's how unwell this TSM fan is. <laughs> oh, and also, by the way, I have more sponsors now for LFN than like probably TSM has ever had at one time. Let's go. 10th of, of December that year. A journalist reporting something before it happens can pressure circumstances so it won't, but then they get called a liar. Weathermen spend years in school knowing full well that essentially the same thing would happen. Don't go into the field. Do you notice how he thinks he's actually having a conversation with me? Like every week or month, he's just sending me messages that I don't read, get fuck all likes. No one replies to, in fact. He's just literally like... Essentially, it's like he watches someone on TV. He goes, ah, fucking Trump. And then he pulls out like a fucking can, an empty can of baked beans and go and just screams into it like, you fucking, you, the way you screwed people with Trump University and what you what you did in the state of New York. And what about that? What about what you did with black people? What about, uh, ah! And then he goes, all oh, right, got that out of my system. Oh, 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 TSM's got a new sponsor. Hey, the drinks are... Uh, Ah, uh, well, just small fucking small cough syrup. Give me that codeine. <laughs> Here's a good one. October from that year. Want to hear a joke? By the way, look at the numbers my tweets are doing in 2015. And look at the numbers. 
No, no, this might be the first time anyone's ever seen these tweets, by the way. They just, no, nobody knows. This guy doesn't exist. He just doesn't exist. He doesn't. This guy goes, what a joke. Thorin's grammatical skill. Is there, is there a screenshot? Please let there be a screenshot. Please. Oh, okay. Okay. You got me, lads. Oh, shit. Because I wrote for the first time and deleted it, he screenshot it instantly. And then when I wrote at, he's, he's implying like, nah, you don't even know grammar. Got him. <laughs> it's so fucking bad, isn't it? It's so bad. Let's keep going, though. July of that year. The idea he came back four years later and started tweeting again is mega too. Enjoy life at the kiddie table, crying over taunts, LOL fans. This is when... They were like crying that people did taunts in game or whatever. In CSGO, we teabag your corpse. Lol, fuck out, hate mad numbers again. I can't fathom how someone could be so pessimistic in all aspects of life. Have you ever seen your Twitter account? Have you ever actually looked in the mirror? Leave it to Thorin to break new ground. Okay. Previous month. I have been reliably informed that all real journalists check every detail and never make a mistake, else they are fired. Don't be silly. They need to have jobs first. Right, because he thinks, this is the, oh, now I've realised. Because in 2014, I got fired from on game, as I did. I got fired from them. He doesn't know that the very next month, two or three sites gave me offers for exactly the same money I made for on games. But I told them, you know what? I'm going to think about this offer for a month and I'm going to go freelance and just check it out. And what happened was, when I went freelance, I actually managed to make as much money I know I did way more articles as I, doing independent work for three or four sites as I used to make from doing one of those gigs. But then I wouldn't be beholden to them and I couldn't get fired by one gig by from Dick as it is. So people like him thought I no longer had a job and for years after this tried to taunt me on the idea I was unemployed and wasn't making enough money and didn't have sponsors. That's his whole thing. Even though, by the way, the whole time I'm working CS majors, I'm actually getting all this money independently. Like I said, in 2016, I got a mega sponsor. Then I went on American TV. Their whole shit is like, ha, but you don't have a job, do you? At this point in time, in 2015, I'm already doing all that gold potential. I was doing like articles almost every day. Me. This guy. I just retweeted his tweet, didn't I? I love how every article is clickbait. This guy worked for SK Gaming. And the literal clickbait videos, insane Caitlin Null, are tracking at number one. Because that's what used to happen. If you did a real story, they'd go, hey, that's not what he said in the whole interview with the quote. That quote's only part of it. It's clickbait, even if it was what he said. Then, like he says, insane Caitlin Null, that'd just be the number one thread. Even though, like, you watched it, it's just some guy in gold doing an OK Caitlin Null. Not even, like, fucking Uzi Eye or something. This guy goes, ironic description. This is how you know he's a teacher. Does not equal clickbait? Right, deceptiveness equals clickbait. That's not, you haven't at all listened to what the guy said there. But because I retweeted it, you got triggered. And so because you get to reply to me, you reply to him and say something stupid. April of 2015. Never understood people saying Diamond Prox was the best player on M5. Relative to his role, sure, but Alex Itch was the star. Could be argued that Eddie, oh, now he's just actually having a convo with me. All right, do you not, were you not mentally ill for this one day? What happened, mate? Just, just wake up. Maybe dad gave you a call or something. And goes, I actually wish I'd been there three days of your life. And you go, oh, cheers, Papa. Oh, the sun has got his head done. Chip, 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 chip. <laughs> As ever, people continue to, oh, I'm always doing numbers too, by the way, continue to judge how good LOL coaches based on purely on whether they like their public personalities or not. Your tweets are getting more and more asinine. Scara, loco, elements, zero likes, nobody engaged. No one ever replies to this con. No one ever replies. There's never a single person like, mm, interesting, I think I'll engage with this. Like, everyone's just like, sorry, who? But why is there no reply to your your, your threat or I, mean, I didn't see anyone there. It's Ms. Ob he may as well be fucking the man who wasn't there. April 24, 2015. Here we go. Here's a good one. 33% of mid laners in the NLCS playoffs are from NA. Two Koreans, one American, one day child. By the way, that's just a fact. There's no opinion given there, no editorialization. It's just a provable fact. So because I pointed out that only a third of them are from NA, he's going to have to get triggered and try and attack my nationality and culture. Only a queen-loving limey, right? I love the queen now. If you're from England, by the way, everyone loves the queen. 
They don't, by the way. I would say she was popular. The idea they love her, I wouldn't really say so, but obviously I love her. Only someone who loves the Queen could ever say a fact about how the demographic makeup of mid laners in the LCS. Only a queen loving Limey would cr criticize the largest melting pot on earth for being a melting pot. Well, if it was a melting pot, what's weird is, wouldn't they all be American by that logic? But actually, you know what? Koreans who move to NA for a year and then move back to Korea aren't actually people trying to be in the melting pot of like immigrating and integrating into American society. So it's not actually a melting pot at all, is it? Like, put it this way when um, in the NBA they have like Jokic move over. Is that now a melting pot in the NBA and he's now American? What's in the argument? Like, it's more the other way around. Only a dickhead American who knows nothing about the rest of the world would go, shit, he's right, two-thirds of the players aren't even from my country. Oh, that's right. Anyone who comes to my country is American. It's a melting pot. Just British things. Zero engagement. How many more of these is there? Oh, there's not that many more. We'll just go a few of you more, just to show how bad he is. December the year before. Arguing with a fanboy is as productive as trying to explain to a guy why his mother's cooking isn't actually the best. No, it's not my tweets are just good. It's a good point as well. He goes, and you arguing with his mother is a shit cook, even though you haven't cooked a day in your life. It's different than that. Ah, oh, the joy. Why does it bring me such joy? I did no engagement again. <laughs> Wait, this never, this never. You know what? I, I, no, I, I won't do it though. I, I almost felt tell I should just like all these tweets. It'll come on like, oh my God, someone's liking all my old tweets. You're going, it should be me. It should be, <laughs> it should be me from 10 years later. Like, you absolutely wretched. You've got nothing. You've got absolutely nothing, of course. <laughs> Imagine getting that triggered over that tweet. So every fucking day of his life, he's just triggered by my tweets. Reddit is primarily English speaking and Chinese players have zero interaction with English speakers. They have little fans. Okay, thanks. Thanks for letting me know. Okay, brilliant. Here's a good one. Why don't Sahon Royal Club learn? Oh, this is when TSM did like unexpected shit or whatever. Are, are Samsung White doing unexpected things? How about you fucking expect that? You tell them, Riv. Because basically, Rivington was like, oh, they need to do unexpected things, Star Hunt Royal Club. It's like Samsung White was just playing like whatever way they wanted to. He goes, if you had a nickel for every bridge you've burned, then I'd have what? At this point in 2014, like, th three nickels. Yeah, th three nickels. Shit. What you mean is I burned a big bridge recently, but you fucked up. So you just said, if you had a nickel for every bridge you burned, then I'd have three nickels. Banger. It's, it's doing crazy numbers. Thorin makes a joke that everyone is to blame for not being Diamond, then blames people for not liking his content. When have I ever blamed people for not liking my content? That's the maddest straw man ever. I'm like the one journalist who wouldn't do that. I don't give a fuck. By the way, have you noticed that I don't ever complain if I do a video and now it gets like 5k views? I used to get like 50k easy. Who gives a shit? Maybe people just aren't into it anymore. I'm going to keep doing the videos I like. I've never even done the videos just for drama. In fact, this sort of video is actually the type that fully of people do just watch for drama. My normal content, I'll do a video about some fucking team from 2006 that played with a mixed team in Swedish World Tiber Games. I know 100 people actually give a fuck. But I think a video clicks or probably misclicks. Who cares? I'm the historian. I do what I want. <clears throat> Self-proclaimed esports historian. They always love that one. Oh, by the way, it was a year earlier, someone else proclaimed me eSports historian. I went, mm, cool, I think I'll use that. But always it's self-proclaimed because they don't know anything about eSports history. And it's almost like me, the eSports historian, would be the appropriate person to, I don't know, inform them about eSports history. Thorin has finally been axed. Oh, by the way, he's posting this on the day I lost my job. My dream job, where I used to get paid something like 40,000 euros a year to work for CBSI through uh, on gamers. And it was my dream job at the mo at the time. I'd put all this work into it. I'd even carried the site while Slasher had been off doing fuck all do it, and eventually got fired. I even put my job on the line for someone like Slasher. So that's why the only stuff that he's done since he will never come back and ever be someone I communicate with. So he just decides on the day I've been fired to tag me and just crawl about and just go, Thorin has finally been axed after biting the hand that feeds one too many times. So long champ. And then tweeted at me like every fucking week for like year, like years at this point in time. Cool guy, right? This guy might be in charge of children in a school. Cool. 
Asians aren't the best because they outperform the West in every game, but because they do eight out of 10 times. Backpedaling, I see. Hashtag grasping for stuff. It's that early period of Twitter where you thought you just make up your own hashtags and then they go viral, but no one ever does. No one ever sees or likes the tweet. And oh, by the way, you notice I never reply to any of these people ever. Seriously, it's just disrespectful to suggest Reckless is on the same level as Deft. The same Deft from a game before. There's one game I've seen a Deft, so Reckless must be as good. Yeah, good one. By the way, how did uh, those two guys' careers work out? Did one of them win Worlds? Did uh, one of them win LCK? Did one of them win MSI? Did one of them win LPL? Which one was it, do you think? What do you, which one do you think was MP MVP of those leagues? Which one do you think still plays to this day at a pretty high level in one of the major regions, while the other guy is in his region in a challenger team for gimmick reasons? Which, which do you think aged best out of those two? Oh, this isn't, e this isn't even a reply. It's a little sad that the wildcard teams at Worlds are essentially to fill a diversity quota. Oh, because it's 2014. Even the walk people haven't fully figured out their battle lines, guys. Because this guy's clearly walk as fuck. But he hasn't figured out it's, it would be offensive now to say that wildcard teams are just there for diversity quarters. Diversity quarters don't exist. But if they did, they'd be a good thing. And it's good that they do exist. And if you say that they exist, then you're obviously evil because they do exist and it's good. And you shouldn't say that because it's good. Are you having the problem with the celebration parallax? Look it up. September 24th. Oh, he agrees with me. Oh, my God. Don't ever mention Afro Moon double lift as an elite bot lane again. Only playoff performers get that recognition. This might be the first thing I agree on you, because I'm hating on the team that's TSM's rival. They're yeah, brilliant. You seem like a totally sane person. Are you ready? TSM win. Their fans send me insults. TSM lose. Their fans send me insults. All in all, just a great gang of guys doing mad numbers. And you spend the entire day insulting literally every player you come into contact with while retweeting girls. And by the way, that sounds dope. I obviously don't do that. Like, you notice I'm never tagging people in my tweets. I don't tweet at people to insult them. I just say if I think they're good or not. And then also, why even put that in there while retweeting girls? Oh, did, am I going to get the cooties on my fucking Twitter account? What is this? Mate, at this point in time... I can see why you might be bitter about someone having any engagement with girls. First of all, aren't those actually the fucking glasses that like anime girls have when they've also got that like cap and then the fuck big and then a big scarf? You're mental. Look at your fucking haircut. You look like a peanut that's on a fucking sex offender list, <laughs> allegedly. Retweeting good. sad life, bud. Yeah, it's almost as sad as tweeting at me like every week with zero engagement or replies just for years and then coming back in 2020 and doing it more and just making up a fantasy about me and Valorant and fucking Riot Games. These people could all have killed it on the analysis desk as a Chinese scene expert. You can't have those people on the desk when you have their Twitter to worry about. Yeah, are you ready, guys? He's nailed me here. You can't have Frost scoring on a Riot desk. Oh, she didn't go on to do loads of worlds, including the world's finals, and work on the LPL, Oceanic League, and LEC. That never happened after this because she had Twitter. By the way, her Twitter was way worse later. Papa Smithy, he'd never be on an analysis desk. After all, he didn't later go to LCK, do worlds, do worlds finals, and then become a GM who works within the right ecosystem because, again, he has Twitter. And by the way, what crazy tweet has he ever done? It's just actually meant ill. These are all so good, I've just got to keep going. I just have to. LCS has allowed guys to have entire careers without being able to form in the playoffs. What a dog shit competitive system. This isn't a singular competition. Have you ever watched real competitive sports leagues? You know the different, yes. Oh, it's gr grammatical error. Oh my God, guys. Let me just get a screenshot. Oh wait, I don't give a fuck. I won't even take a mental screenshot. I'll delete my own memory after this so I can fit some good shit in there. By the way, it's 2014 and I've been following esports professionally since 2001. But yeah, there's no way I know anything about competitions and formats. I haven't seen it all before, of course. The Ann Prag person just said a controversial thing. Controversial, read plain offensive. Yeah, nothing he says is offensive, by the way. Statements sure are flavor of the month. Wish we didn't have bullies as figureheads of esports. By his own logic, and even the behavior of, of someone who would be in a school, isn't he just verbally bullying me every fucking week for years? Oh, we're back to grasping for straws. Nice to see Toys involved in Pro LOL again, even if he is the most overrated player in the game's history. In 2014, because he won in 2012, people used to talk like he was a top 10 player of all time. 
The very definition of grasping for something. Like you know about the fucking Taiwanese League of Legends. You absolute fraud twat. You know nothing. You know nothing. We're almost at the end. September 2014. Congrats to Lord Loco, because we did a Lord bet, and then when he won, I had to call him Lord Loco, and I kept up that side of the bet. He baited and outsmarted me, that was a meme at the time, by having me bet on TSM with Glebe, that's true, I bet when they had Glebe, and then he replaced Glebe with fucking Lustboy, who was a champion of the OG and one of the best players of all time. He goes, Thorin, taking a break, a page from Monty on how to man up, fucking hell, being defensive 100% of the time, garners nothing but severe distaste. Well, I'll tell you what, tell me about it for years. Except in your case, not distaste, dick taste. Because how this dick tastes. You can't get off my dick. Mate, you should just put my dick as your forwarding address. Because you're never going to be at home to check the mail. Just get it when you're on my dick, right, did it? Holy fuck, I wondered what that was. I felt like my dick was a little bit heavy. Turned out this guy was just on it the whole fucking time. Pretty ridiculous, a porn company can't sponsor an LCS team. It's true. I mean, look, the Saudis are going to buy it soon. And now they work with a state that kills people. But actually, a porn company couldn't sponsor an LCS. That'd be wrong back then. It's an entirely legitimate sponsor. Join the 21st century riot in USA. Join the 21st century. Get ready, he's going to go mental about the UK. Aren't you from the UK? Where internet filters block anything and everything porn related. Now, what's great is he's just read a story online or heard some stupid thing on the, the Tonight Show. Just let me just ask in the chat. I haven't looked at porn in the UK for years. I haven't lived there for ages and ages and ages. But I'll just do a poll of anyone in the UK in the chat. Right, in the UK, guys, when you search porn on search engines, is it all just blocked? Is every single site just blocked? I mean, you know it isn't. You know that was mainly just a story and it just wasn't a thing that happened. <laughs> just bollocks, wasn't it? Just never even happened. Didn't happen, of course. But he's triggered as fuck. He put anything and everything. Yeah, reasonable. Yes, yes. Hmm. Yup, your pornography abstain abstaining must be more severe. We will block anything and everything and be glad of it. I was wondering what should break first. Batman, well, Mr. Wayne, I want it. Mr. Wayne, your VPN or your porn addiction? <laughs> this guy just calls that, but because I read, by the way, he also just only follows me, mate. He must just be on my Twitter. Must, I know what he does. He's just on my Twitter profile every day, isn't he? Because look, when I retweet other cutie pie, he just responds via the retweet. The road of the eight an atheist is wind and paved with many lemames. He's just, he just, my ho his homepage, it was, just was mad. Like, it's like twitter.com slash Thorin with three O's at the time. Now it's with one O, isn't it? Here's a good one. Just adding me. Do you shit controversy? Everyone needs a support network. And mine is, of course, my Patreon community, the Scrominati, who in many ways, they're the sunny to my share saying, I got you, babe. So this video and all the others on my channel were kindly supported by the following names. I met a Jew, Matt Pugnaccio Rakula, Adam Tomlin, Animosity, Jensen Go, Tosh, Toucan, and you know it. Jerky's minion, my main man, always going to be referenced, one of the best patrons of all time. Would you like to ask a question in my AMA? Maybe you want to suggest a topic or a guest to see on my channel. Do you want teasers to find out who the upcoming reflections and talk to Thorin interviews are? Maybe you want to do one of those long discussions where you get to set the topics we talk about. Well, if any of these or others appeal to you, put your money where your mouth is. Join the Scaluminati today via the Patreon link in the description box below.